Jebel El Kast During my stay in Tafraut, I had the chance to climb the 2,375 meters Jebel El Kast. Mohammed, a married 67-year-old man, who grew up in the region, and who knows the paths of the mountain chain very well, was my companion. It was around 9 o'clock in the morning when we left Mohammed's place, close to Amsnat village. Our plan was not necessarily to reach the summit but to walk up the mountain as far as we could and enjoy the scenery from above. I knew Mohammed in the early 80s. He was holding a shop next door to my home in Tangiers north of Morocco. He is still living and working there. He is in Tafraud on holidays. زمران اللي كيعرف هذا المتعه هذا هي عند الله على مزمران ان شاء الله وانا صافي فوق قديم الى كتب الله The village where Mohammed and his brothers were born before their father moved to Tangiers to open a shop, just like most of the men in the village. The village is a source of powerful nostalgic feelings and thoughts in Mohammed's mind. He remembers well those early years of his childhood when he used to climb the mountain Aline and with friends. The image of Mohammed's strong mom walking steadily up the rocky faint paths in search of wood is still clear in his mind. Women in the village used to be much more energetic and more active than the new generation of women most of whom have never climbed the mountain.
What a magical spot. It gets you the feeling of flying over Tafraut region. And on a really clear day you can see the Sahara, the High Atlas, and the Atlantic Ocean all in the same unparalleled vista. Mohammed is in Tafraut for a while so he is looking for some souvenir of the place to bring back to Tangiers. The best souvenir is doom plant a special type of plant that grows in the wild. The Moroccan doom, the dwarf palm, the creeping palm, or the dom for short. In European languages, Chamaerops is a genus of angiosperms in the family Palmaceae, palm family. Dom has a fruit similar in shape to the fruits of a date palm, and it has many benefits for human health. The scientific name Camerops came from the Greeks, who called it Phoenix Camerifs, meaning the palm lying on the ground. Mohammed is very happy to find what he wanted. It was getting too late for going further up, so we decided to call it a day and we started going down heading towards Agchim village. Adventure companies rarely guide clients to the summit from Agachim. They often choose Amon Valley to make the trip in two days, with an overnight stop in the high village of Tagdict, from where the mountain presents its easiest means of ascent. On our way down we noticed a severe dryness of the place and it was clear it hasn't rained for a long time. So Mohammed said some prayers asking Allah for mercy and rain. When we came out of the village at sunset we realized that we had done the right decision to end the trip sooner. There's no doubt, of course, that getting up the summit of Sirt mountain chain requires a fair amount of effort, and this is definitely not roadside cragging. The gigantic El Kest mountain chain is only a part of Tafraut treasure. A treasure that requires several visits and a lot of time and patience to fully discover and explore. <laughs> 